Hi, welcome to Today in Tokyo. I figured it's a good time for a video when my new practices are causing more frustration than comfort. And one of my new practices along the lines of vegetarianism is paying attention to what I put in my body in terms of the containers that bring the food to my body. Now, from 19 years old, on and off over the years, I've been a vegetarian. I've been a vegan, I've been a pescatarian, um, I'm now working hard on being a vegan again, but occasionally when health demands, I will have an egg sandwich, I may have for comfort food a donut, which I know comes from dairy, but I'm trying to eliminate these things as much as possible. Uh, there's no pork in my diet, there's no beef in my diet, there's no chicken in my diet, occasionally there may be fish food stock when I have soba noodles. But when it comes to containers, this has been a new thing since I learned about BPA and BPS and polycarbonates and other plastics. And I can't avoid it with cold foods, but I'm avoiding plastic with hot. So I have a BPA-free uh, thermos. Now when I look for coffee, I've further complicated my life because I do not want hot liquids coming out of plastic. Uh, along those lines, I no longer eat hot soba soup because at least in the standing restaurants, it comes out of what I call medical tubing. So I will only eat cold soba, sumetai. Um, and now with coffee, I usually go to Starbucks because they have metal spigots and metal urns. I also have a predilection for the cozy. So this kind of a coffee shop is a big plus for me. And before going in, uh, being almost delighted by the fact that the sign points to drip coffee through a strainer, one of which I have at home, but which is ceramic, I asked the proprietor, or one of the waiters, I said, is this plastic? And for a moment I was confused as to whether he thought I was talking about the sign, but he, he got the point. So in this particular restaurant, you would think a place with this kind of appearance and this kind of dedication to aesthetics and finery, they would have a ceramic strainer for their drip coffee, they don't. They have a plastic one. So I'm not going to drink coffee from there. I can't drink coffee at any of the convenience stores either, which at first I thought was fantastic because in Japan, at the convenience stores, you can get drip coffee for $2. And the uh, hopper is right on top and you can see the beans before they get ground up. How great is that for $2? Well, it's not so great when you consider that the boiling hot water is passing through probably not BPA-free plastic. Now, why do we have to care about this? Well, for the umpteenth time on the internet, I'll be one of those guys, one of those guys glossing over it in a shallow way. Unsafe plastics can contribute to hormone damage in your system, which can contribute to offspring with ADD, ADHD, brain damage, bent spines, and mixed gender. Now, I have a theory running. The Japanese are such outgoing people. They're always outside. They're eating outside all the time and they don't really care about their health in terms of plastic. They don't know about this yet. So they drink hot drinks from the convenience store out of bottles that look like water bottles. They drink tea, they drink coffee, they drink other elixirs out of plain plastic bottles. And I've checked the plastic type. It's type number one or pet plastic. And that's good for a single use. If you look it up, it's not really designed for hot plastics as far as I know. They eat soba noodles as I've already described like it's going out of style in plastic bowls with plastic chopsticks coming out of plastic tubing from plastic machines. And they drink their coffee. And of course, they also have uh, instant ramen noodles out of styrofoam. All of this is disastrous for the DNA and hormonal health of a population. And I have a theory, as I mentioned, or a hypothesis, that this might have to do with the increase in what you see in unnatural, perhaps, mixed gender people. I have nothing against people like that. I'm not like one of these libertarian conservatives in America who's afraid to send his child to a liberal school because he's afraid they will turn the kids gay. If one day I have gay children, no problem. It doesn't make a difference. I will love them just the same. But you don't want 
mixed gender people being created by the plastics you're eating. There's plastic in the fish. This is a fish eating country. We all know that the oceans right now are 60 to 1 plastic to bio material. So the fish have the plastic in them. All the way down into the bottom of the Marianas Trench, they have found plastic in the smallest of sea creatures. So they're getting the fish not just from the containers, or rather the plastic, they're getting it from their fish. So this is a country that I think is eating tons of plastic. And I'm not going to do it. And you shouldn't either. So, what do I have to say about that? Nothing. Get BPA-free and watch the news to make sure BPA-free is safe. Because now they're saying that's not safe either. What should I eat for lunch? <laughs>